these mystery schools, they were temples. They were temples. It was not based on how beautiful they were, the architectural design. But they were built based on energy, uh, frequency, come, sir. Watch the land of Ken. They were alchemists. They knew where the ley lines were. Anybody know about ley lines? Okay, they knew where the ley lines were. Now, the ley lines are these uh, highways, invisible to the natural eye, that run throughout the earth, mm. even under the ocean. And these are highways of energy. And where these uh, highways of energy connect at as a power point. Somebody mm. say power. power. So they understood where these things were and they built things there based on the ley line because they wanted to draw the power from the earth. Come on. They wanted to yeah. use the power from yeah. the earth that God has placed them. Yeah. Can I tell you that you have ley lines in your body? Yes. You have thousands of them, and they're called meridians. Meridians. Yes. That's what they're called. Right throughout your whole body, you have all of these meridians. And at major intersections in your body, that's where you have your chakras. Yes. Huh. Yes. Huh. So I can't speak non-Christian language, right? Come on, speak. What is a chakra? You heard Dr. Cunning last night talk about it. What is a chakra? It's a spinning wheel of energy. Yes. You have seven major points in your body yes. where this energy is spinning in your body. And if they all spin at the same frequency, you become a light being. Yes. And that's what this whole experience is about. So that you can become a light being just as Yeshua was on Mount of Transfiguration. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Right. So you have all of these meridians moving throughout your body. These, these uh highways of energy. And so if they get plugged up, you get yeah. arthritis. Wow. You get high blood pressure. Wow. You get cancer. You get all of these different wow. kinds of diseases. It's because the energy or the chi, or the Greeks say the key, or as yeah. the Bible the ruach, yeah. can flow through there. Yeah. And so if there's a blockage, and it's because the energy is not flowing through there, there's a roadblock there, and the roadblock could be unforgiveness, it could be bitterness, it could be hate, it could be jealousy, it could be some type of emotional baggage that you're yet carrying around from past relationships, maybe with your father, mother, or some lover, or ex-husband, ex-wife, or something, and so if you haven't released that, it will park itself right there in your body. And see, the law of energy, like attack, attracts like. So whatever type of energy is there, it's going to attract more to it, to that body. And it will manifest as sickness, disease, cancer, and all kinds of things like that, bringing the body frequency to a lower level. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay, now, there's a part of your body, and uh, we teach this in our mystery school, in our uh, mystic institute on Monday nights. Thank you. There's a part of your body that is called the perineum. Mm. Yeah. Okay. The perineum is that no man's land. It's that empty space between your anus and your genitals. It's called the perineum. It's not there just for being there. God designed the body specifically. Yes, now, of course, you can use it for sexual simulation because that's where the most powerful energy lies. Jesus. Amen. Why? Why is that? It's because that's the power to create. Yes. That's the power to do just what God did to create. Yes. Amen. A man can release a seed and he's going to duplicate himself yes. in his image and likeness. Right. He can release it into a woman, into her body or her secret space, her yoni, yoni. which means you her, which means your secret space from his lingam, I'm talking Sanskrit now, which means tower of light. Yeah. Come on brothers, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Send it to attention. <laughs> and so it's a tower of light. Maybe a little tower, but it's a tower. Now God can even 
can work near us. I mean, if he can grow arms and legs and teeth and all that kind of stuff, he can grow them too. Do you need it? It is a tower of light because what you release from that tower is seed, and that seed is light. Release it into a sacred space, which is heaven itself. Yes. That's why the man says, "Oh God." <laughs> soft tissue, bringing energy from there, because that's where the power is coming from, the root chakra, that area there, that's where, because it's connected to the earth, you are grounded that's to it. the earth, yes. you're grounded, and so it's bringing that energy up through your soft tissue in your body and stuff, and then you have the governing vessel, or the governing meridian that travels up your back and yeah. spine, because yeah. somebody are sleeping. Kundalini. Kundalini. <laughs> it used to be a bad word in church. Well, it's still out there. But thank God I'm here that you guys are progressive and you're beginning to understand that some of the Eastern words are the same as the Western words, just exactly. different names. It's just yes. a matter of semantics. And so we're calling upon that Holy Ghost. We can call that Holy Ghost if you feel comfortable with that. <laughs> you know? And so it comes up. And so some of you do something like this. Top. Right, exactly. And so, see, when you draw that energy from there, up the front, up the back, it meets at the tip of your tongue. Mm -hmm. And it creates a circuit. This is science, I'm telling you. Yeah. This is what the ancient people understood. This is how they knew how to access God better as they develop these techniques. So what I'm sharing with you is technology because I'm in a room filled with prophets and seers and all these other wonderful people and I'm giving you technology that can help accelerate your gift and help you to uh, develop further and faster and come to higher states of consciousness. Yes. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Yes. And so they drew that energy up and to the tip of the tongue because the power of life and death is where? And so once the energy is drawn up, you can speak out whatever it is that you want. You can call it forth because now you're just not doing what I think somebody said the other night. You're not just robotically doing it, but you know, you're speaking from deep within. You're speaking from that energetic level that's within your body using the energy or spirit, if you want to use that word, that God has created in the earth and within your body that he interacts with. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. So let's just move on here. All right. So now, so the living temples were harmonious structures, and they were constructed to, to, to transmute frequency. You are created to transmute frequencies. Mm. Now, when you are walking in alignment with spirit, as the scripture says, walk in the spirit that you don't fulfill the lust of the flesh. When you're walking in that with intent and realizing what you're doing as a prophetic generation, as a mystic or whatever is up, you know, you begin to trans, uh, you begin to transmit specific type of energy around you. And you know what? Some people ain't gonna want to be around you. That's yeah. right. Come on, say that. Say and you don't have to even say anything. Right. They will be intimidated yeah. by the level of frequency that is emitted from you. Jesus. They will be jealous of the amount of frequency, or they may even have a very negative reaction and try to assassinate your character because it's just something about you they don't like. I don't know what it is, you know, but 
their negative energy is not compatible with your positive energy. And so it is resisting because they know that if they stay in your presence with a higher frequency, they're going to have to change. 